Hi everyone, my name is Diane Furphy and I'm an art therapist and spiritual self-love coach. As an art therapist, I worked in an outpatient facility working with children, teens, and adults, all while focusing on their mental health such as their depression and anxiety symptoms. For those who are not familiar with art therapy, art therapy is where the art therapist integrates an art directive into session with the client. Art therapy is about the creative process. It also has many benefits. Some of the benefits that art therapy include are reducing reduces stress and anxiety symptoms. It also boosts your confidence and self-esteem. It promotes insight. It enhances on your social skills and it gives one a sense of purpose. And these are just some of the benefits that I've actually personally witnessed with my own clients. I would also like to share my very own personal experience with art. As a very, very young girl, I've been creating art. And now that I look back from when I created art up to where I am today, I see all the healing potential that art and creating really has. It was a form of release and a form of just helping myself get out those emotions and feelings that I was holding deep within me from the trauma to the happy times. I mean the all in between of all my personal experiences. Art has really helped me heal in extraordinary ways. I would like to add a special little side note. So while creating art, some people may think that you need to be an artist. That is not the case at all. Also, some people might think that it's about the end result of the final piece of the artwork, but that's not the case at all with basically going through this process of creating art. Like I said, this is a process. Creating art is about the process and not the final result. Since all of life is a process and it takes some time to get there, that's exactly what this creating art is all about as well. So it's basically feeling how you're feeling in each moment during the process of it and allowing yourself to really be in the moment and to allow yourself to experience what you're truly feeling in that moment. With that said, with my journey as an art therapist and also using art as a healing modality, I was inspired to create and build my own business. Today, I'm the founder and owner of Create What You Want, where I call myself a spiritual self-love coach. This is where I help you build upon your self-love and incorporate self-care practices into your life. I also help you heal internal wounds and also recreate new life patterns by using art, mindfulness, and holistic tools. Okay, since I've been talking so much about art, I'm super excited to say that I will be facilitating a little art exercise with you today during this video. So if I can ask you to grab any simple writing materials. So I have markers here, but you can also use crayons, colored pencils, a pen, a pencil, whatever you have available, and also whatever you're drawn to. And then I will also ask for you to have a piece of paper. It could be a blank white piece of paper. It could also be colored construction paper, whatever you have available and or whatever you're drawn to in the moment. So the art exercise I'm going to ask you to do is called a Mandela. I'll guide you a little bit later on, but for now I want to give you a brief definition of what a Mandela is. So basically Mandela is a geometric pattern. A lot of cultures and beliefs believe that it's a form of prayer, meditation, and healing. It is also a circle that represents that everything's connected. It's an ongoing cycle of life. Mandelas also have been known to bring a sense of peace, calmness, and balance. They also are a really good benefit for building on your focus and concentration. So to reap these positive benefits of the Mandela, let's get started with the art exercise. So I'm going to ask you if you can just bring forward any feelings that you're feeling. Maybe it's overwhelmed, stressed, just feeling sad or down. I ask for you to bring these forward just so that when you're creating your art Mandela, you can be focusing on those feelings, but also at the same time, transferring and conveying those feelings into your art so that your art can help transition and shift those maybe not so good feelings into more of a positive feeling such as feeling more calm and more balanced and aligned inside. So during the creating of the Mandela, even afterwards, I would like for you to keep some of these questions in mind and for you to answer for yourself. So one of the questions is, how is a process like creating the Mandela? Why is it that you chose the writing material that you did choose? Also, maybe the shapes, because everyone's Mandela will turn out different with shapes. There might be more curvature, there might be more points, just depending on the individual and the form of expression in that moment. 
So I ask you, what do these shapes represent to you? How are they symbolic to your life? Is it something that may have happened in your life before that it's like sparking or triggering a thought? Or is it something that you're going through presently? Now that you're done creating your art Mandela, I figured that I would share mine with you. If you would also like to share your Mandela with me, or even if you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, you can contact me at createwhatyouwant.com. That's K-R-E-A-T-E-W-H-A-T-U-W-A-N-T.com. Again, that's createwhatyouwant.com. And if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, I am available to service you in any way that I can. Also, I have a blog section there that provides a lot of self-care and self-love tips that maybe life just throws at us at any day. So yeah, please feel free to check that out. Also, I really, really hope that this Art Mandela exercise provides you great value and brings you a sense of comfort, calmness, and balance that the benefits say. Lots of love to you all, and thank you again for watching. Bye.